Hey, I'm Alex Samples, and here's a sample of Russia post World War II and after the Berlin Wall has fallen. After the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of communism, Russia attempted to become a dem democratic state. Russia attempted to become a democratic state, holding elections for most office holding positions. The attempt to become democratic and capitalist in Russia quickly ended once almost every single office holding position had a former CPSU or communist voted into position. Boris Yeltsin was the first president of this new democracy, even though his core beliefs were very communist. Yeltsin had very many health problems as well as an alcohol addiction. These two things combined made it difficult for Yeltsin to make any decisive decisions. He became paranoid and surrounded himself with people he trusted, who happened to be oligarchs, which are people who took advantage of the rapid democratization and capitalization of Russia to gain lots of money. Yeltsin basically ran the country into the ground with economic and political reforms from a communist political system and tried to make a new government to stop his opposition from gaining any power. When he tried this, the citizens of Russia thought that he was trying to create a personal dictatorship. After an occupation of the White House and a shooting of the occupiers, his new constitution was made. Though successful in making a new government, his opposition party, the conservatives, won a majority in the state Duma. After intense fighting in Chechnya between the two opposing parties and several ethnic groups, Yeltsin had little support from the people and a rapidly deteriorating health. He became ever so more dependent on his trusted allies and, and oligarchs, who were becoming more economically and politically powerful due to their connection to the president. The several satellite countries that surrounded Russia after the fall of the Berlin Wall were broken into 15 different countries to try and appease ethnic conflicts. Though since all ethnicities were spread through all of the countries, it, was, it turned out to be a subpar attempt and led to ethnic cleansings, especially in Chechnya. Though seemingly beneficial for Russia, Putin has also clamped down on civil liberties and made it difficult for opposing political parties to run against him. Russian citizens can hardly complain, though, as they have never been governed by a body that the majority of people have accepted. As far as the future of Russia, young and more educated people are more liberal and are becoming more apparent in Russia. Though if these people hope to make any kind of real change, they will have to wait a few generations for the old, uneducated, and Soviet-minded people to die out or lose power.